year of our cannabis focus. Um, we started last year as being able to take the cannabis discussion into the mainstream using our Mill Valley Film Festival platforms. We wanted to bring it out of the niche market and really have an educated discussion to break down stigmas, to make it be something that people can really try to understand since it is becoming legal and becoming more culturally accepted. Uh, we've always had a very strong theme within the Mill Valley Film Festival going into its 40th year this year with cannabis, and so we decided to put a package around it last year. It was a huge success. Uh, audience engagement, new audience, all of that, what you want out of a focus and an out of a program. So we decided to do year two of it, to continue to the discussion, and as the, as the uh, cannabis industry grows, we need to continue to have this with the folks, who, especially in the, around here. Marin is still kind of that last bastion between San Francisco and Mendocino and, and Sonoma and Napa that's a little bit more further along in this discussion. So we feel it's still a, a, a time for us to be able to have that. So here we are. Folks who I would never have thought would have approached me as interested in this kind of topic, almost like in that coming out of the closet feeling. And because they're able to do it in a way that they feel comfortable, it's made it something that they feel more, I think, uh, easy to come to and have this discussion with us. And that's really what we want to do is bring it you know, to everybody's kind of mainstream life. So my biggest challenge last year was we wanted to represent the cannabis industry and the discussion from what we would consider our brand, which is one of quality, one of integrity, and one of ethics. And the Mill Valley Film Festival has always had kind of an academic credibility to it, and we wanted to bring that to this topic. And there is, so that took some, you know, careful navigating and a lot of, a lot of fun education on my side. So, you know, it's been something that I've, I've, I've learned a ton for someone who thought that I knew a lot about it, and I really was just, you know, the tip of the iceberg. Because that first meeting where we presented this as an idea early on, uh, one of my co-workers kind of threw it out there as, okay, what are we, are we going to tackle this discussion? And you would have thought he'd have just lit a joint and started passing it around the boardroom, you know? It was that kind of people taken aback by it. But, you know, once it really became something that we embraced, it really took off as other people kind of came out of the woodwork to support it. And it's, again, taken on a life of its own and become one of the more unique and uh, anticipated, you know, events during the festival. Yeah. And it's it, it's that leap of faith. It's that to take. I got to give our, our our leaders a lot of credit to, for the guts to do it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to embrace that. I know that wasn't easy for them to do because we do have a lot of stakeholders uh, from every demographic and every walk of life, and we, we respect that and honor that. So we wanted. To, if we're going to do this discussion, we're going to do it in the proper manner.